Hey, welcome back, guys. Uh, we're going to talk about Runway LF, which is a new tool where you can actually change your existing video and you can tweak it, you can remove, you can add, you can change the style of your existing video. So we're going to get into it. Welcome to the Sketch Lab. So as you can see on my screen here, I mean, it's pretty crazy. Um, you can change any angle. So they said with, run with Runaway LF, you can generate novel views of existing scenes with simple props. Whether you need a reverse shot or a low angle, you're now able to generate endless coverage. So as you can see here, the original video um, is sort of like a close up shot. And then you can switch it to wide shot and look the character is consistent and you got the extreme close shot and then the medium shot um guys this is incredible here's another example of <clears throat> this shot and then they removed the uh the people in the scene and then this is more like a uh like a full shot um, here's another example. You can do style transfers. So this one is a uh, transfer the style of the video and they made it into this style. Um, look at that. I mean, so the style is consistent, so you can do like really, really cool stuff. So let's say, you know, you, you generated the video and you're not really too sure of the style you can draw a new style or you can pull it a, a reference from somewhere else and then you can have the video reference that image. So this is the future of VFX. This is the future of filmmaking. Great Scott. This is the future of creating um, your animated series, your animated film. So what we're gonna do is test out uh, some scenes from Vanguard Zero, the, uh, the 2D animation that I did a, a little bit ago. And we're gonna, change the angles so if you want to add more scenes this is the way to do it so you can change the angle of your existing video and i'm going to show you how to do it um so as you can see here i have um this is the clip from uh vanguard zero vanguard zero that we did previously and um so here's the scene of him just just talking smack right and um now what i want to do is have the camera uh have the like over sh over the shoulder shot um of him doing this whole dialogue with the uh with the character that he's talking to so i did like a really quick um generation um and it looked like it worked um the only thing is that the character is different um there's not much else going on so what i'm going to do is um there is an area here so before i go any further what you want to do is go into video right so in the upper left hand corner it says video and then um a left is already um ready right but you have to make sure that gen 4 is selected right now it's not available yet for gen 4 turbo so you, on the bottom left hand corner make sure that gen 4 is selected and I'm pretty sure that might change in the near future. Um, I would say every month, uh, they're just leaps and bounds and uh, updates for Runaway. So they're just kicking serious butt out there. Um, it's like the best I've seen. Um, I've seen Luma do it. They're coming out with like text modify, um, but I'm not seeing the results not that great from what I can see so far with the examples that I've seen. Um, the character kind of changed, the character is not consistent or the objects, objects are not consistent. So they're a little, a little bit behind. We'll see. I, I, I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure they're making improvements, but so far runway left has been pretty consistent. Um, so let's test this out right now. So we have, uh, this scene here. And in this area, we have uh, a picture that we can upload. So I'm gonna upload the hero character that he's talking to. So that might change. So hopefully 
the the shot will be more accurate so let's uh i'm gonna go ahead and upload that and all right so let's drink this down more right here it is all right so here is the full character shot of zero so i uploaded him into the uh this reference image uh, part of the um of the this area here so then um my prompt is well it's not really a prompt so you can just do natural language just say change to over the shoulder shot keep style the same keep style the same inconsistent the character he is talking to is in the distance okay so and then i'm gonna say let's go ahead and generate that all right guys let's see what we got here Okay. Uh, the character doesn't look the same, so could be my prompt. So let's uh, let's try let's give it another shot. So um, I do want to get into this. Uh, it's called chat mode. It seems like a lot of people are using that with the this new Aleph tool, and um, it's sort of like a a collaborator. So. Um, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna give this a shot, okay? So let's see here. I'm gonna upload the same video. So I uploaded the video, and I'm also gonna upload the uh, the character, the uh, zero. All right, guys. So I uploaded the video and then the character. So I am going to uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, ask what I would. This is what I give it some instructions here. Yeah. So it says, I see you have provided an image of zero front and video of Gorbex. To create an over the shoulder shot of the monster character looking at the hero, I need to know which of these assets is the monster and which is the hero. Oh, cool. Could you please clarify which asset is the monster character and which is the hero character? All right, so I'm gonna say this one is. So is the monster character that's really cool so this is the beauty of um um agents ai agents that they um are able to collaborate with you in your creative process <laughs> this is probably going to be more um, available to uh, a lot of these other AI tools where they're going to have agents like LaVart, like I showed you in a previous episode. LaVart um, is able to do that with AI agents and now AI has a built-in runway agent. So it's really helpful uh, to collaborate. So it'll help clarify your instructions and uh, give you better results. So we'll be right back. All right, so here's the result. Let's check it out. And it looks like the character design changed. A little bit weird. Okay, um, so that didn't work. So we're gonna try a different shot. And like I said, this product just came out, so they probably gotta work out the kinks. So we're just here to kind of test it out. So we're gonna try a different shot here and I'm just gonna use that video again. All right, so that was cool. So you can actually hover over the video uh, that you uploaded before and just hit that plus sign and it'll automatically add it to the uh, this little area here, okay? And so now I want a uh, close up shot of the face. Close up shot of the face monster cut yeah let's go ahead and generate that all right guys um here's the close-up shots see how it goes here all right that's pretty cool it did a little uh like close-up then it backed up which is kind of cool I'll dig that okay all right, let's uh, let's get crazier here. So let's say um, let's add that video again, and then we'll switch to another shot. All right, cool. 
all right, let's try a different shot. Uh, so I uploaded the shot of zero. So I want to do like an extreme close-up shot of his face. So let's see um, how that would do. Extreme close-up shot of his face. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so something strange happened here. <laughs> it actually did extreme close-up of the monster instead. Uh, so let's check that out real quick. I mean, that's, that's not bad. I mean, I would definitely upscale it. Um, but it's an extreme close-up shot of the monster. Uh, and I did say it made details crisp and, and, and style consistent, which it did. Um, that's pretty cool. So we're going to try this again. So we're going to add this extreme close-up shot of hero's face make details crisp and consistent all right so let's, let's give it another shot okay so the uh the first generation of the uh, close-up of the of zero um it didn't turn out that great <laughs> i mean when you change the angle kind of look kind of cool looks pretty cool so we gave it another shot i think that's more in line with what i'm looking for so so we'll see here. So as you can tell, like the lines are crisp, um, nice close up of the face. And um, yeah, it did a really good job with the extreme close up shot. Uh, let's uh, try another shot. Let's try like an overhead view. Uh, um, I like the um, of that. So it's like overhead shot of the scene all right let's give it a shot all right guys so here is the overhead shot of the scene let's check it out here okay all right not terrible so the environment changed a little bit so you know this is just the first generation so there's going to be some iterations some back and forth to get the exact shot that you want but overall, I think this is a pretty cool tool here uh, that we can use. Um, so the next thing I want to try is to take this clip here and replace it with a different character. Um, so we created a character before called Pulsar Man. I, I don't know if you guys remember that. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can replace uh, Zero with Pulsar Man. So uh, let me uh, get that uploaded here. All right, so in order to do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, Hit that up arrow and uh, upload the uh, image of the character. All right, so I have added the um, the image of the character and here. So I'm gonna go ahead and say change character with the one from the image. So hopefully. All right, guys. So the generation is complete, and let's check this out. Wow. It literally replaced zero with Pulsar Man. That's that's a, that's incredible. Um I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you find this tool useful? I mean, you can change the character, you can do whatever you want with it. So now what I'm gonna do is do a uh, a profile view of this um, of this character. So let's see if that works. Okay, so I'm going to say camera angle to size view. Okay, and see how that turns out. <laughs> All right, so we got the uh, other shot complete. This the profile shot of this and then replaced it with uh, Pulsar Man. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Now, as you can tell, like the, the, um, the part on this chest is missing and that's my fault. It actually, uh, because it's missing from the actual image of, uh, of the reference image. So it, you know, it did what it had to do and, um, I think this is a pretty powerful tool.
tool and I would love to hear your thoughts and, and let me know how this would help you because I think this, uh, you can do so many things with this. Um, like I said, it's, it's new and it just released. So they're probably going to work out the kinks. Um, and then the generation is going to be faster. So each generation would take about maybe five minutes, maybe more, but that's because it just, it just came out. So uh, hopefully you enjoy this episode and, uh, I will, uh, see you on the next one.